Aside from Keith, Ben got the distinct feeling that he might have an arm growing out of his ass. After going inside the rest area, they found that there were several other people with the same idea, all of them with the same confused look on their faces. There was the guy from the restroom as well as his wife, a middle-aged couple, and two women in their mid-twenties. The group was a good cross-section. There were four men and five women, varying in age from twenties to late fifties, early sixties. Bathroom guy's wife was the oldest by the look of it. She looked to be in her mid-sixties. After a few minutes of exchanging the same, my stuff isn't working story, Ben had offered up a solution, but the idea hadn't gone over so well with everyone. I hate to say it, but I think he might be right, Keith said, speaking up finally and addressing the group. Bathroom guy raised his hands in protest. I'm sorry, but are you related to this dipshit? Keith raised an eyebrow and said, The man is on to something. There is no way in hell he could be right. There just isn't any way to pull the wool over America's eyes long enough to pull it off. So put a sock in it, the man replied. Bernard, maybe they're right. It's the only way to explain the cars, the power, and all the cell phones. Nothing else makes sense, Bernard's wife said. She's right. It's the only thing that explains all three things simultaneously going off. I hate to say it, but it may have been an EMP, Ben said. What's an EMP? asked one of the twenty-something girls. Well, Ben started. What's your name, ma'am? It's Nell, the girl said. All right, Nell, Ben said. An EMP is an electromagnetic pulse. It's a static discharge in the upper atmosphere as a result of a nuclear detonation. I don't really know the exact specifics of electromagnetics, but I know that it fries everything with an electronic circuit. Now, there's been a lot of advancements to make things EMP-proof, but most cell phones, car electrical systems, and power grids are very susceptible to an EMP. High-end electronic stuff is toast almost immediately. I don't know what all works after the fact, but most of the sensitive electronics stuff is done for. So wait, we've been nuked? What about radiation and fallout and all that stuff? Nell's friend said, speaking up finally. I'm not 100% sure that's even what this is, but it makes sense. And if your cell phones work? Digital watches. Anything electronic you have on you work right now? Ben asked. Everyone in the group patted themselves down, checking random places for everything from phones to watches to keyless entry car keys. None of them worked. Nell frustratingly threw her cell phone into her purse. I am trying really hard not to freak out right now. So is there any definitive way to tell if this is what you think it is? This EMP shit? Nell asked. I don't know. What I do know about it is that we are thoroughly and unequivocally screwed right now. None of the cars in the parking lot are working, which means they never will. They're all giant roadblocks now. No cell service, no power, and no way to get either one of them. Thank God this place runs on natural gas, or we'd be extremely screwed and freezing our asses off. Okay, all of you are nuts. I'm going out to the car to get a hold of the police, Bernard said. Ben wanted to say something, but if it hadn't sunk in yet, it wasn't going to. It was better if Bernard went ahead and tried to go outside and see what he could get accomplished. One of two things were bound to happen. Either he would be proven wrong about the EMP, or Bernard would spend the next hour freezing while trying to get his cell phone to work. Either choice was fine for now. After Bernard stormed out, grumbling under his breath, Ben turned his attention to Keith and Joanne. Although she seemed worried, Joanne didn't show it. After the last few days, it was just one more thing to add to the pile. You all right, Mom? Joanne sighed. Yeah, I'm good. I hope you're not right about this, though. Do you really think we would be susceptible to this? Well, the shutdown has gone on now for what, a month or more now? People in charge of shit like this, I'm guessing, don't call in to work a whole hell of a lot. But just one or two people missing in the wrong places can make us very vulnerable. It's not a sound idea, but it's the only one I got. Right now, we need to worry more about Steve and Lexi more than anything. If this is an EMP, that charger is hosed. That damn thing has more digital gizmos in it than my house does. Then we need to find your brother. The last time we spoke with him, he was going down a big off-ramp headed this way. Now, from what I can tell, that off-ramp is only a mile or so down the road. I vote we bundle up and see what's going on outside this rest area. We could probably find them and get some answers, too, Keith said, placing a hand on Ben's shoulder.